Here's the updated severe weather briefing. My name is Jeff Boyne, one of the forecasters here with the National Weather Service in La Crosse, Wisconsin. This update was at 9 p.m. on June 18th. We still expect uh, potential of a few storms to become severe overnight. Uh, right now, we expect the showers and thunderstorms to develop somewhere between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. and then become more widespread across the area. Looks like the best hazards are going to be um, heavy rain and damaging winds with a lesser extent, some large hail. Brief tornado cannot be completely ruled out, but uh, looks like the chances are very small for that. It looks like as far as the locations affected, it will be mainly south of Interstate 94. Looking at the current radar, looking at a cluster of showers and thunderstorms near the Chicago area and another area of storms across the Dakotas. Scattered showers and thunderstorms were seen across central and southern Port Plains. Looking close to the home, uh, starting to see some showers and thunderstorms developing north of the warm front across southwestern Minnesota, and that extends um, southeast into east central Iowa. And as we get into the 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. time period, we expect those showers and thunderstorms to be more wide, start to develop across the area, and then become more widespread after 2 a.m. Um, a few of these storms could become severe. Heavy rain looks like the biggest probability of occurring tonight, and uh, especially across areas that have already seen quite a bit of rain. And also, a few of the model simulations suggest maybe a line of storms developing across uh, western portions of Iowa and southwest Minnesota, and then racing towards us. That would come through the early morning hours. Meanwhile, other simulations suggest we get that line more towards tomorrow afternoon. So still some uncertainty whether we do. And if that line does develop, that would be our primary wind threat for tonight. Looking at the current surface map, we're looking at a warm front uh, extending from northwest part of Iowa into southeast Iowa. This warm front will move slowly north tonight. And as we get into Thursday evening, a cold front is rapidly approaching the area. For tonight, we're looking for a slight risk of severe weather, and it looks like it will be mainly affecting southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa, and southwest Wisconsin. Tornado probabilities. Uh, there's a slight chance maybe we could see maybe an isolated tornado, but as the probabilities aren't that likely. As we get into the wind probabilities tonight, so decent probability that we could potentially see some damaging winds tonight with the higher concentration back towards the Sioux Falls area. Uh, still some questions whether we'd see any uh, line of storms develop to our west and then move towards east, towards our area overnight, and if it did occur, it'd be in the late night hours towards sunrise. But right now, there's quite a bit of uncertainty whether that will even occur. And as far as hail probabilities, the best probabilities look like they're back towards the Sioux Falls area. Severe weather threat continues into Thursday with much of southern Minnesota, Iowa, and west central and southwest Wisconsin included with a slight risk of severe weather. Again, looks like we'll see heavy rain tonight. Potentially maybe one to three inches across um, northern Iowa and southern Minnesota. Uh, some of that heavy rain could possibly get into west central and uh, southwest Wisconsin. As we continue into Thursday, still looks like some heavy rain across the area, potentially another one to two inches of rain across the area. And as we look for the rainfall totals through Monday, it looks like we have a potential anywhere from about two to five inches south of the Interstate 94 interchange. Here's some of the rainfall totals that have fallen since Saturday. Uh, we have seen anywhere from three to six inches of rain across southeast Minnesota and 
north of the Interstate 90 corridor in uh, Wisconsin. We currently have a flash flood watch for much of the area tonight. And that's primarily south of Interstate 94. And that runs through 7 a.m. on Thursday. Again, we expect showers and thunderstorms to start to develop across the area between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. And then become more widespread. Heavy rain looks to be the primary threat for tonight. However, we could see some damaging winds if a squall line develops to our west and moves into the area. And if it did, it would be either late tonight or potentially tomorrow afternoon and evening. And there is some lower threat for large hail. Isolated tornadoes still cannot be ruled out. And it will mainly affect locations south of Interstate 94. Keep abreast of the severe weather across the area by monitoring our Facebook page, our Twitter page, and also our YouTube channel. Thanks again for listening.